Hi, my name is Kurt Elsner. Welcome to another Tigerfish tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this medieval text in Photoshop. So let's get started and let's take a look how it's done. So first of all click on the background color here and here you choose the hue, saturation and brightness to 0, 0, 0010 to um, get a dark gray. Press OK. Then you go to New and here you create a new file which you call medieval text and the size is 1920 by 1080 pixels hit enter so you get this um, dark gray background next you create a new layer by clicking on this new layer icon and you choose a brush and um, for the purpose you choose a so-called grunge brush you can download a full set of grunge brush, uh, brushes on this website here or you can download a selection of um, four grunge brushes on my website following this link. If you have downloaded these brushes you go up to this um, drop down menu and you select load brushes. Select the four grunge brushes and <coughs> you can see you have uh, loaded them here. Next you press B on your keyboard select one of these brushes, select white as color and just click on the um, image then change the brush click here, click again click here change the brush click here and last time change the brush and click on the canvas okay if this is done you um, go down to add layer mask and you add layer mask to this layer one um, and you invert this um, layer by pressing control or command I then you um, change your brush to this one change the size to 1500 pixels hardness is zero press enter twice you select the mask you press D on your keyboard so you get um, the white foreground color and just click on the canvas like so once, twice and again so you get this effect then press V on your keyboard to select the move tool and now we want to um, uh, get some effects for this layer like um, a drop shadow first of all you go to blending options and pull down the fill opacity then you go to um, drop shadow change the blend mode to normal the color to white hit OK the opacity is 60% use global light is turned off pixel is 1, uh, 0 and 0 and then you add an inner shadow here you use multiply colors black 75% opacity is ok um, check this off and here you have distance 1 0 1 and that's it for the inner shadow and hit enter so you end up with a canvas like this then you change to your type tool and for the type I use a, a font which is called Rothenburg Decorative or Rothenburg Decorative, I don't know how it's um, pronounced. You can download this font at this web address here or um, here on my website following uh, this link. You choose a font size of 430 point and the color is black click on the canvas and write down Mozart yeah, or whatever you like change to the move tool um, click on the type layer and the background layer and center the type like so and um, now with this type layer selected we want to add um, several effects first of all we um, want to add a drop shadow and for the drop shadow we change the blend mode to normal the opacity to 80% percent 
Use global light is checked. 120 degrees is okay. 25 pixels distance, spread 0 and the size is 30 pixels and anti-alias is checked. Next <coughs> um, next is inner shadow. You select inner shadow. Change the color to white. You change the blend mode to normal. Um, then you change the distance to 20 pixels. The size to 10 pixels and the contour whoops the contour you change to um, this one, this cone and anti-alias is also checked. Then you go down to bevel and emboss and here you um, choose inner bevel smooth 30% for the depth up the size is 25 pixels softness 1 pixel the um, use global light you turn off choose um, angle of 95 degrees 42 uh, degrees for altitude um, the um, gloss contour you change to uh, this one here the ring double anti-alias is checked and the um, highlight mode and shadow mode is screen and multiply and you change the opacity to 95 here and 80 percent here then you check the contour and um, change it to <coughs> half round and the range is 50 percent so um, then we add a satin effect and for the satin effect we change the blend mode to multiply the color to white and the angle to 20 degrees distance 30 pixels size is 15 pixels anti-alias is checked and we go to this linear um, contour type then um, we check the color overlay and here for the color overlay we choose 0, 0 and 60 for hue, saturation and brightness and we leave the opacity at 100% and last but not least we um, select the stroke for the stroke we change um, the size to 5 pixels the position is inside blend mode normal and the fill type is a gradient click on the gradient and add another um, color stop at 50 percent and change the colors um, like so first color stop you change the hue saturation and brightness to 50 50 75 hit ok the second color stop gets this hue saturation brightness of 45 25 and 50 press enter and the last color stop here you change the hue saturation and brightness to 40 65 and 30 hit enter enter again um, <coughs> you change the angle to minus 90 degrees and the scale to 90 percent hit ok so now we have this effect and um, collapse the effects panel press right mouse button and select duplicate layer this one we call Mozart 2 hit enter and then right mouse button on this layer and select clear layer style pull down the fill to 0% and <coughs> now we add more effects go again on the effects button down here and add a drop shadow and as a drop shadow we use again normal for the blend mode black opacity is 80 percent you uncheck use global light distance is 5 pixels 0 and 10 pixels for the size check enter alias then go to inner shadow here you change the color to a hue saturation brightness value of 40 40 and 30 percent hit ok the distance is 20 pixels 
and the size is 25 pixels and the noise is 2%. So that's it for drop shadow and, and inner shadow. Then you select outer glow and here we use uh, opacity of 20% and uh, the color of the glow gets a hue saturation and brightness a value of 50, 100 and 90 percent. Hit OK. The technique is softer, spread is 0 and the size is 55 pixels. Hit Enter Alias and crank up the range to 100 percent and the jitter is 2 percent. Next um, you select Bevel and Emboss and for the bevel and emboss we choose inner bevel smooth 115% for the depth uh, direction up size is 30 pixels soften 10 pixels uncheck use global light and um, dial in the value 110 degrees and 40 degrees for the altitude check enter alias then you um, select um, linear light and change this color to 30, 55 and 90 percent. Um, this one is <coughs> 75 percent opacity and this one is has an opacity of zero. Then you select the contour and for the contour you use um, uh, this one, this half round, and the range is 70%. Then <coughs> you check Satin, and for the Satin you use Color Burn, and a black color, opacity is 50%, angle 20 degrees, distance 10 pixels, size 10 pixels, and anti alias and invert is checked. Next thing is gradient overlay and for the gradient overlay we change the opacity to 40% and as um, gradient we add another color stop at 50% and change um, the colors accordingly to um, 185 and 20. Hit enter. S next color stop is 195, 10 and 40 and last color stop gets a color of um, 190, 10 and 70 hit enter hit OK um, here you use linear and um, 90 degrees and the scale is 100 percent then we go down to pattern overlay select it and here you need um, the artistic surfaces so um, load these patterns and here you choose this one the canvas and um, the blend mode is overlay and the opacity is 40 percent scale is 100 percent so then at last we change um, uh, we add a stroke and for the stroke we use 10 pixels um, inside and the blend mode is normal opacity is 0% and the fill type is color and um, we use black hit OK and then um, press F twice and Control or Command 0 for uh, zooming in into the picture and that's our final effect and that's it for this tutorial. But uh, one additional thing, um, maybe you want to apply these kind of effects to other kind of uh, uh, types. Therefore um, let's duplicate this um, picture by going up to um, image and um, duplicate and hit OK and if you have um, finished this tutorial 
you can um, save these effects you applied as um, styles. Double click on um, the effects here and select new style and this we call medieval text 1 one, and we check all um, boxes here, hit enter, press ok then go up to um, this effect, double click it, select new style and here we um, type in medieval style 2 and hit enter enter again. So here in the styles panel we have created two new styles. So if we um, delete our type, okay, delete the layer and delete this layer and we di um, type in a new text like um, Goethe. Okay, select the type and the background and center it. Then it's very easy to get to the same effect. You just select the type and um, press on this medieval text one style to apply the style to this type. Then duplicate the layer, hit enter, press with the right mouse button, uh, select clear layer style and pull down the fill value and then you just select the second style and that's it for um, this effect. So if you have um, done this tutorial and you create these two styles it's very easy to um, apply this effect to every kind of type you write down on a canvas. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like this clip and if you want you can subscribe to our channel and here you um, get new tutorials every week or every day, every few days. If you want to you can visit our Facebook site. This site needs some fans and you can uh, visit uh, the website tigerfishtutorials.com My name is Kurt Elsner. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.